Okay, folks, to fully understand uh, this gift from NASA, we're going to take a look at the HMI magnetogram, the old one. Now, you know that this is what we look at to determine the magnetic classification of a so uh, solar active region. But even, uh, even with this magnetogram, and even if you put an intensity gram right side by side, uh, you might be able to tell whether it's beta, gamma. You might be able to tell if there's a delta spot in there somewhere. But oftentimes it's very difficult to ascertain where the sunspot is, where the penumbra is, and where those lines are. And we'll come over here to the SDO Solar Dynamics Observatory website. This is where you can find all of these things. Uh, now, yet they still have the old magnetogram. Uh, now, I know a lot of this looks new uh, if you come to this site often. And uh, don't worry, the Doppler gram is still down there if you like that one. We do. But take a look at this colored magnetogram, folks. And they really, uh, they really do a great job of not only clarifying the lines of magnetism uh, in, within the solar active regions, but they really outline the sunspots. Um, and, you know, that yellow is a less intense form of magnetism than the red, and the blue would be the most intense, would be a more intense uh, form of magnetism than the green. Those would be the two opposite polarities. Folks, there's been a lot of little details about the magnetic classifications of these solar active regions that we've wanted to get into, but we, we couldn't figure out a way to logistically make a video about it, and I think we're going to be able to now. So, what the heck, let's kick it up a notch. Thank you, NASA. This is... This is really awesome. Um, be safe, everyone. See you in the morning.